It's time to fire this thing up. Hit it. What is right back behind me is a classic 1966 20-foot Bertram Moppy. And well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's awesome to have you back in the Shipshape TV studios as well as Boat Shop. And today on the program, what we're going to be covering is the topic of inboard outboard, you know, stern drive maintenance. We're going to be going through uh, gimbal bearings, we're going to be talking about bellows. And I don't know if you've ever had an overheating situation in the motor, even when you've changed the water pump and the impeller. And guys, I'm telling you, even marine mechanics miss this one, and we're going to let you in on something that is going to make you run smooth and run cool all the time. But first, before we get into any of this stuff, you know the drill. We have to acknowledge all the fabulous companies in the marine industry who help make ShipShape TV possible. ShipShape TV, where boat improvement lives, is made possible by the entire collection of beautiful Sunbrella fabrics. Sunbrella, the only fabric to offer both design and performance above and below deck. And by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Welcome back. You're watching ShipShape TV, boat improvement made easy. Hello boaters, I'm Pleet Glasso from Lighthouse Marine Supply from Long Island, New York, and I'm down here at Ship Shape TV Studios with Brian Farrell, a recent top graduate of McFadder Technical School. Brian, I know that at McFadder you specialize in outboards, and there's still a lot of stern drives out there, and one of the most important aspects of a stern drive or maintenance on a stern drive is the bellows and the water tubes and the gimbal bearing. And today, I just wanted to maybe bring you up to speed, give you a little education, help the boaters out there so that they're comfortable doing it themselves. Perfect. Like, like you said, my program was heavily focused on outboards. And I got a, a quick little foundational theory on stern drives and inboards. So I'm looking forward to learning. Um, for example, what do the bellows protect? Well, this bellows is the gimbal bearing bellows, and this protects the gimbal bearing, the U-joints. Okay. So now bellows are designed to stretch, to go up and down with the stern drive, or left and right with the steering. And what happens is after a while, they're made out of rubber, they start to dry rot, mm -hmm. or even worse, is barnacles grow in here, and they get pinched, and they cut the bellows, and then you get water seepage into the bellows, which will go into the U-joints and into the gimbal bearing, and it'll cause failure of your outdrive. What we want to do is every year we want to definitely take our outdrive off just to inspect these items. And every five years we definitely want to change them out. Regardless so, of if they still look pretty. Even if they look good, after five years, you're on borrow time. You might as well change them out. And for the most part, whether you have a Merc Cruiser, whether you have an OMC, or whether you have a Volvo Pinta, the bellows are usually the same. You have a gimbal bearing bellows, you have an exhaust bellows, and you have a water tube, mm -hmm. okay? And these all come in the kit. When you buy a kit, you get all the bellows, you get a shift cable bellows, you get the water tube, you get the clamps to hold it on, and you get a new gimbal bearing. Most water tubes are held on with two clamps on each side, except for a Bravo water hose, it's actually held on by this nylon insert. And just gets threaded in? It gets threaded in with this special tool. And you thread this nylon insert in and it spreads it and it locks it into place. And this special tool, which we also sell, they're available on our website. Or if you start on a job, I would recommend purchasing a Sea Lock service manual. We sell them for Merc Cruiser, OMC, and a Volvo Pinta. And in here, we'll also list the service tools you need, which we stock either on our website or you could call our store. 
Now, one of the important things about these water tubes is they also have to flex when the drive goes up and down mm -hmm. or left and right. And what happens after a while, they'll start to flatten out and restrict flow. So be on the lookout for any sort of restrictions, cracks, right. or dryness. Exactly. And also on a Bravo, you'll see that this is a three-quarter opening. Mm -hmm. And the Bravo water pump is inch and a quarter. So when you put this grommet in there, and then after a while, the salt water starts to close this tube down to maybe a half-inch hose. It's a big restriction. It's a big restriction. And people start replacing their thermostats, their manifolds, their water pumps. And really, it's this hose simple. here. It's simple. And it can all be arrested by proper maintenance. Mm -hmm. So today, I know we've got this Alpha Gen 2 behind us. We're going to do a bellows job. But first, we need to get the actual drive off. Right. You have your trim cylinders, which on the older uh, outdrives are nut and bolt. For the newer outdrives, they're little retaining clips that you have to remove to get the oh, trim cylinders off. Very simple then. Yeah, yep. Is there anything else? Yeah, well, besides the trim cylinders, you also have the shift shaft. Okay. Now, in a Alpha Gen 1 and Gen 2, the shift shaft in the intermediate housing uh, is a vertical uh, upper shaft and lower shaft. And this shaft comes off with the outdrive. Now, you'll see this is forward position, okay. this is neutral, and this is reverse. So now, if you're in reverse or neutral, you're not going to be able to pull the drive off. Because you're pulling it off and it's right. binding. So you have to put the uh, control box in forward, in forward so that you can slide the outdrive off. Okay. So once we have that off, I know this is a Bravo drive, but you know, the design is very similar. Once the drive is off, we've got the bellows sits here. Right. Yeah, you have a bellows here. Okay, this bellows is here, and the exhaust bellows is down here. Okay, how, right? do, we, how do we, I guess, so, open this up to get to it? So what we need to do is we need to remove the trim sender, which is just two screws. Okay. And then there's a pin that screws in with another special tool that you take the pin out and then we'll be able to move the gimbal this. off so we can uh, take the clamps off and replace the uh, bellows. Okay. Now one of the things you want to do is on all bellows, you want to put a little bellows adhesive on. It's a good idea to put it on before you start the job because you want the bellows adhesive to dry. You don't want to put it on wet because then it's slippery and it'll s slip out of place. So you put the bellows adhesive on and set the let bellows down, out. let it dry, and when you go to put it on, it'll secure with a hose clamp. Okay. All right, so, so behind the, the bellows here, what am I seeing? Well, inside is a gimbal bearing. Okay. Okay, and this is what the drive shaft of the outdrive will, will drive through here and attach to the engine coupler. Mm -hmm. Now, on the early outdrives, this gimbal bearing was a lubricated one. So they had a Zert fitting on the side of the outdrive here. You sit it with a grease gun. You would pump grease into it. But the current bearings are non-greasable, so they're pre-lubed from the factory. So what happens is when you install the new one, then they, you take out the Zert fitting and they give you a little plug to put in its place okay. to keep any water intrusion from going into the grease gallery. And how do you go about actually getting this out since it's kind of tucked up in the, in the drive? Yeah, that, to get the bearing out, we use a gimbal bearing puller. Okay. Okay. Now, as you can see, what is this, this here point will push on the inside and spread these jaws. So that this goes on to, the in, on to the bearing, and then you tighten this up. And I can't pull it off. Right, so we tighten it up, and now you can't pull it off. And then once you put this in, okay, you start tightening this down, and that slowly pulls the gimbal bearing out. But you have to remember to hold this nut from turning and just turn this 
because if this shaft turns, then you ruin the end of that tool that we just All right. cut out. All right? And that's how you pull the bearing out. No matter where this day takes you, don't change your heading until after the program. We'll be right back. Welcome back aboard. Fishing for boat improvement? Well, you caught it right here at Ship Shape TV. Okay, Brian, so we've taken the out drive off. We've inspected the bellows, the gimbal bearing, and the U-joints. Everything looks good. So we're gonna reinstall the out drive. Okay. But before we reinstall the out drive, we just wanna check engine alignment. Okay. So we're gonna use this engine alignment tool. We're gonna push it in and we're gonna make sure that we have a nice grease marks with the splines all the way around the okay. uh, engine alignment tool. Does this tool vary dependent on different drives and different motors? No, actually this tool, you can use this for Alpha, you can use this for Bravo, and you can actually use it for uh, Cobra SX. Okay. All right? So we just go ahead and slide it so in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it up with the gimbal bearing. Ooh. Okay, we bottom out, we pull it out, we got nice grease marks all the way, all the way around. So you can actually see the splines. So you can actually see the splines. Okay, so that means our engine is aligned and we're safe to put the outdrive back on. So since there's equal spacing in the grease, right. it means that we're sitting nice and level. In the coupler, right. Excellent. I'm Cleet Glasso from Lighthouse Marine Supply. We're well known for our engine parts, but we also sell boating accessories, such as bottom paint. And we love petted water-based bottom paints. We have good, better, and best. Neptune bottom paint is a single season water-based bottom paint. And Hydrocoat is a multi-season ablative water-based bottom paint. And then Hydrocoat Echo is a multi-season water-based ablative without copper. So not only can you paint the bottom, but you can paint the outdrive, the running gear, the trim tabs, and any other underwater metals. This is Cleet Glasso from Lighthouse Marine Supply. Please look up our website, marineengineparts.com. The tool shed's still open, so stick around. Shipshape TV will be back in a flash. If you'd like to watch today's episode again, go to our website, ShipShapeTV.com, and watch it free on any device, anytime, anywhere in the world. Tell a boating friend today. We are so honored that you have decided to spend the last half hour of your life with us here at ShipShape TV. And, you know, we learned a lot about stern drive maintenance today, uh, covering the, the gimbal bearings, the bellows, and that overheating situation that so many, I mean, I'm talking qualified marine mechanics overlook that salt buildup, okay? Um, but I thought kind of the coolest thing about today's program is, uh, is Brian Farrell's uh, kind of learning this type of powertrain. You know, at McFadder Tech learned a lot about outboards, okay? 24% of our audience, okay, actually owns a stern drive. And now Brian's branching out into that, and we're trying to cover all of these different powertrains for you in marine maintenance. Um, we've got to thank Cleet Glasso, everybody up at Lighthouse Marine Supply. What's so cool and unique about Lighthouse, guys, where they spend the majority of their money, okay, rather than advertising, Cleet puts it in inventory. So if you need a part, you need it now, chances are, They've got it, it's a great company. They, they have mobile sales all over uh, the Northeast. They do internet sales, I mean, gosh, all over the world. But finally, the last and most important person that we need to thank here today, it's you. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out with us here in the 
boat shop for the last half hour. We're all out of time. But uh, again, I'm John Graviscus. We'll see you on the next go around. Closed captioning provided by the over two decade video library at the all new ShipShape TV website. Available now worldwide online with paid subscription. Makes a great gift with a special boater search engine for ease of use. Hurry, the introductory price ends soon. So watch any episode, old or new, on any device at the all new ShipShapeTV.com.